In this video, I wanted to do something a little different. So I've been talking a lot about just different builds and configurations with your uh, multi-rotor setup. And what I wanted to do uh, in my spare time, I've actually been trying to learn as much as I can about uh, the ArduPilot source code. And so you're probably familiar with the APM 2.5 uh, flight controller, that, but I really wanted to kind of get into the nuts and bolts, if you will, and understand, you know, kind of what happens behind the scenes. And so uh, you probably use Mission Planner. That's what I use. I'm, I'm on a Mac. And what I wanted to do was uh, learn a little bit more about how to configure, compile the source code and load it to my APM board without using Mission Planner. So I'm going to talk through that a little bit today. So we'll start with actually downloading the source code from GitHub, configuring our Arduino IDE for uh, support of the APM 2.5, and then we'll interact with the APM uh, using the command line interface. So this does require a little bit of technical knowledge, but if you have any questions on setup um, or any of the tools used in this video, feel, feel free to post a question. So let's get started. The first page I want to point you to is the actual ArduPilot project on GitHub. And if you're not familiar with GitHub, I won't go into all the details now, but the fact that ArduPilot is actually managed over here is pretty awesome because you can watch almost in real time what uh, the uh, ArduPilot developers are doing and actually view some of their check-ins and, and source code changes. My ultimate goal one day is just to be able to contribute to the project or get an understanding of, of what's uh, going on at the uh, source code level. So if you scroll down on that page, there's kind of an overview of things you need to do to get up and running. And what I'm going to do since I'm on my Mac is actually download uh, the project using git. And so I'll run this command. And what it will actually do is pull the source code from GitHub uh, to my local computer. OK, now that I have the code, I'll Go ahead and change into that directory, and you can see that it, it pretty much mirrors what we saw on the GitHub web page. You know, the command that we actually use is clone, so we're cre creating a clone of the code. Okay, so next up, as part of uh, support for APM 2.5, you'll need to actually get a custom build of the Arduino IDE. And so you can see that here. It's just a uh, custom configuration with a new menu option to, to be able to build for APM 2.5. So we'll go ahead and download that, whether you're on Mac or Windows. And as you can see, I have uh, the Arduino, the regular Arduino IDE here for just stuff that I mess around with. And then side, next to it, I've uh, changed the name to Arduino ArduPilot. So this is the, the custom build that we just downloaded. And what you'll notice is that you have this menu option up here for your ArduPilot. So let's go ahead and open the source code that we just downloaded from GitHub. And you'll notice there's you know, the APM Rover project, Copter, Plane. And for the sake of this demonstration, and the one that I'm most familiar with is ArduCopter. So we'll open the uh, sketch for ArduCopter. And you'll notice a bunch of, of different files. So the first thing you'll want to do to be able to uh, compile this code is we're going to set our HAL board to ArduPilot Mega 2. And uh, I've already I had pre-selected that. But in most cases, you're going to have to uh, restart this IDE to get that to work correctly. So now if we go ahead and click verify, you'll notice that we get um, a run CLI error. And what that means is that our preference in our preferences, we need to change uh, the sketchbook location for all of the libraries associated with the uh, ArduPilot project. So we'll just go into where we downloaded our ArduPilot code. And so we'll set the ArduPilot root directory as the uh, default, the sketchbook location. 
And so after you make that change, what's quirky about the IDE is you have to restart uh, the IDE just to get those changes loaded. So we'll go ahead and open our project back up, our Ducopter. And now we should be able to verify it. You'll see that everything compiles or begins to compile. And you can see that our code compiled successfully. Now, one thing I failed to mention that I don't want to overlook is when you do this, make sure that you have the proper board selected before you compile the Arduino Mega 2560. And now we're actually going to upload this uh, source or this compiled uh, code to our APM board. So we're going to select our uh, USB port and we can click the upload button and you'll actually see the progress down here. This is uh, somewhat similar to what you see when you're in Mission Planner and you, you know, select to uh, download a f new firmware update for your board. And during this process, you'll notice, if you look at your board, you'll see your uh, transmit and receive LEDs pretty much going crazy, just receiving uh, the data upload. So as you can tell down here, says down uploading, so our firmware is now loaded on the APM 2.5 board. Okay, now that the Arducopter firmware is loaded, let's actually take a look at uh, the command line interface, also known as the CLI. If you've used it in Mission Planner, it's, it's very similar to uh, what we're about to do. And if not, um, I encourage you to, to take a look at it just to get familiar with some of the commands uh, that you're able to do. So the first thing you want to do before you uh, get started is you'll notice in most cases there'll be a bunch of gibberish scrolling by. So uh, the actual rate that we want to set is 115.200 baud and make sure your carriage return is turned on. And so we'll hit send three times and then you should see a prompt there. So this is the default prompt. Uh, for the APM setup. So you can go ahead and I'll type in help and you can see your different options available to you. So let's dive into a, a setup command. And what I want to do is actually change my return to launch altitude from the default. So what we'll do is we'll use the show command and then we'll select RTL Alt, and so you can see that it's set at 1500. And if you were to just type show, you could see all of your Arducopter parameters. So let's go ahead and change that 1500, which is, I believe, uh, by default in centimeters, which comes to about 50 feet. Let's change that to uh, 3000 centimeters, which is 100 feet. So we'll set RTL Alt to 3000 and then we'll show it and you can see now that it's uh, persisted to the APM board. And so that is just a simple demonstration of how you set one of your parameters and you'll notice there are all sorts of different uh, commands that you can run from the CLI. Now arguably it's going to be easier in most cases to use Mission Planner but if you know, you know, some of the things you want to do, get in here and quickly do, uh, sometimes the CLI is just a lot faster um, and easier to, to mess with. Okay, so the last thing I want to show in this video is let's take a look at our flight modes. And you'll notice that uh, by default, we're all in the stabilized mode. So what I want to do is actually show you how to change this at the code level, compile it, and then load it on and have uh, your, we'll, we'll set the first uh, three positions, zero, one, and two, uh, to something different than stabilize. And we'll load the firmware and then take a look uh, once we get it loaded. Okay, so we're back in the Arduino IDE with the Arducopter source code open. And what I'm going to do is set the different flight modes actually in the source code. So I know just from 
studying this code uh, that that's stored in this config.h header file. And if you scroll down, almost halfway down in this header file, you'll see our flight mode constants, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And these are identical to what you see in the mission planner flight mode setup. So we'll leave flight mode one to stabilize. We'll change flight mode two to acro. And for flight mode three, we'll set it to altitude hold. And that's... And so these are constants that, you know, once again, that I've uh, dug up through the code. And, and I know that those values exist. Okay, so what we'll do next is I'll save that file. And we'll just verify it. And we've compiled successfully. So let's go ahead and upload our changes to the board. Okay, so our source code is compiled and uploaded. So let's go ahead and fire up the serial monitor. We'll hit enter three times. And then let's go to our setup menu. And I'll type modes. And now you can see that for the default mode or position switch position zero, we have stabilize, then acro, then altitude hold. So that kind of demonstrates what you can do at the source code level. Now I realize that's not incredibly exciting, but you know I'm learning just to understand the source code as I go. So that's about the extent of what I can do at this point. So that was a brief demonstration of some of what goes on behind the scenes when you're uploading your firmware from Mission Planner. And as I mentioned earlier, I highly recommend, you know, checking out the RD Pilot project, kind of just monitoring what's going on. Um, I've learned a lot from it and I'll continue to, uh, as I learn more post updates and just share kind of my findings uh, with the rest of you guys. But in the meantime, feel free to post any comments or questions below. And thanks for watching.